To start the dissection, the frog must lay on its back, spread out its limbs, and pin it to the tray. Make sure that the ventral part of the frog is facing you. Use forceps to lift the skin between the hind legs and make a small incision mid-sagittally. Continue to cut up the center of the frog's body with scissors, being careful to cut through the skin only. Use forceps to hold the skin away from the muscle while you cut it. Make horizontal incision just above the legs and just below the arms. Then fold the resulting flaps back and pin them. Repeat the incisions as before. This time, cutting through the muscle layer to a point just below the arms. Lift the muscle with the forceps to prevent cutting the organs underneath. When you reach the superior portion, just below the arms, turn your scissors and make horizontal cuts. Then remove the bony strips entirely. Pin the remaining muscle flaps back, just as with the skin. The body organs are now exposed. Separate each of the parts. Now let's move on to the circulatory system. Its primary organ is heart, and it also includes the blood vessels and bloods like erythrocytes, leukocytes, and thrombocytes. The heart is a triangular structure with the broad anterior part called auricles or atrium and narrow posterior part called ventricle, which is separated by the coronary sulcus. Auricle is divided into left and right auricle by interauricular septum. Auricles are thick walled. The ventricle is the most conspicuous and prominent part of the heart. The heart is three-chambered with two auricles and one ventricle. Another system found in the frog is respiratory system. As we all know, frogs are amphibious, so they go in water and in land. The frog has three respiratory surfaces on its body that it uses to exchange gas with the surroundings, the skin, the lungs, and the linings of the mouth. Skin is designed specially for their protection. Aside from this, skin of the frog has a role to play in the respiration process. It acts as the aquatic respiratory organ, as oxygen gets diffused through the skin when frog is in water. Otherwise, when the frog is on land, respiration occurs through the lungs as well as the skin. There are present pair of lungs which are elongated in shape and are stuck like structure. They are positioned in the trunk region of the body. Through the nostrils, air enters the buccal cavity and then reaches the lungs.
The digestive system of a frog starts when the food passes through the frog's mouth into the stomach by the way of esophagus, just like humans. From the stomach, the food moves to the small intestine when most of the digestion occur. Large digestive glands, like liver and pancreas, are attached to the digestive system by ducts. The small intestine absorbs the nutrients from the food. The liver is the most prominent organ of the body cavity. It makes bile, and that was the aid in digestion. The pancreas makes insulin and aids in digestion. The stomach is the first site of chemical digestion, breaks down food. In the urinary bladder through ureters, the frog cloaca is a short simple tube receiving at its inner end the genital and urinary ducts, the rectum and it is suggested that the function of its tissue is to flush out and lubricate the cloaca, particularly from the passage of eggs and sperm. Looking into the body cavity, Yellow finger-like projections on the sides are the fat bodies. It may be necessary to remove some of these in order to see the organs clearly. Since the frog is female specimen, it has well-developed eggs filling the body cavity and obscuring the organs. Remove them as necessary. Both frogs and humans have a very developed senses of hearing, managed by the nervous system. However, frogs can only detect high-pitched sounds with their ears. They detect low-pitched sounds through their skin. Both frogs and humans also have a well-developed senses of sight and smell. Both of them also share the same basic organs. Both have lungs, kidneys, and a stomach, also a heart, a brain, a liver, and a spleen. A small intestine and a large intestine a pancreas, a gallbladder, a urinary bladder, and a ureter. Males and females of each species have testes and ovaries respectively. On the whole, their organ structure is similar, but frogs have considerably less complex anatomies. They do not have ribs or even a diaphragm. <laughs>